Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today, we are going to be testing out the new Int, LR Goku, and Piccolo that just dropped on the global side of the game. And at the same time, having some fun with the Joint Forces category, which is a team that I don't really run that often. I'm not really sure why, because it can be quite powerful, but I just don't really use it that much. You know? Anyways, uh, before we get into the gameplay, the first thing I will say about this unit is that it probably has one of my favorite card effects in the entire game. I mean, I just think it's really, really clean, super well done, so that's awesome. I mean, it's probably second to the Biz LR Janemba, who has undoubtedly the coolest effect in the game, but this is pretty close. It's pretty close. Now from there, let's talk about what this unit does. If you guys already know what their details are, then feel free to skip ahead about 30 seconds to a minute. Okay, so starting with their leader skill, it is Savior's category key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 130%, or Int type's key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 100%. Their 12 key super attack raises attack and defense for one turn, causes colossal damage, and lowers defense. And then their 18 key super raises attack and defense for one turn, causes mega colossal damage, and lowers attack and defense. And then their passive is attack and defense plus 120% when performing a super attack. High chance of launching up to two additional attacks plus an additional key plus one up to six, and attack and defense plus 10% up to 59%. Uh, with each attack performed. Launches an additional super attack every time the character attacked six or more times in battle when HP is 59% or less. And then for their active skill, it can be activated after attacking six or more times in battle if HP is 59% or more once only. And then key plus six and attack and defense plus 59% for one turn is the effect. Their links are Infighter, Shocking Speed, Tough as Nails, Experienced Fighter, Solid Support, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. And categories are Saviors, Full Power, Joint Forces, and Movie Heroes. And as you can see, the links are all at level 2 at the moment, so not even close to maxed out. And uh, for the skill orbs, we have a level 2 crit and a level 2 additional. So that is the uh, Goku and Piccolo we're working with today. And here is the full team. We got the double uh, Fizz 17 and Angel Golden Frieza's, along with the Piccolo and Goku, Helen Califla, uh, LR Blue Boys, STR Vegito, and also Tech uh, Go Frieza. So, on this first rotation, we have the ideal linking partner on this team, which is the uh, 17 and Frieza. And they're sharing five links. They're starting with, or actually, four links before the super, obviously, not counting legendary power. They're starting with 52,154 HP, or sorry, uh, defense, which obviously is pretty terrible, but they are a slot 2 unit, which is why you usually want to put them in the second or third slot since they're not getting that attack and defense boost until the attack. So um, with that said, I'm actually going to put them in the first slot because I'm kind of curious to see what happens. And uh, it'd be nice actually to see the difference between the damage we take before the super versus what we take after the super. We took 23k there. This is before we attack. And the attack stat was quite low, 1.4, but keep in mind, they do build as you attack more. So there's three attacks right there. And a huge difference. Huge, huge difference between the pre-super damage versus the after super damage. We went from 23k to uh, like 100, right? So once again, ideally, you want to keep them in the second or third slot as uh, much as you possibly can because they really can't take any attacks um, before they super. So definitely be careful with that. But um, first turn, nothing too crazy. Uh, one thing to note is that they are only getting 150% leader skills from the Frieza and the 17, so um, they would be you know, hitting harder on a double 170% team. But at the same time, 
at the same time, they don't really fit that well on uh, other teams. Like, you could put them on Saviors, but I was looking, and the best, you know, linking partner for them on Saviors is the Tech Pycon, who doesn't actually have an Extreme Z Awakening on Global yet, so that wasn't really ideal. And for full power, I guess I could have done Jiren, but I just like the Joint Forces category better, honestly. So, like, 150% leader skills is still pretty good but he could be hitting harder, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, I don't love the fact, obviously, that they don't have a lot of categories, so you don't have that many options as far as team building goes. Uh, Joint Forces right now, at the moment, I would say is their best team. So yeah, that's why we're running it, okay. So now we are on the second appearance, and you know what? We're actually starting with not... Okay, it's still pretty bad defense, actually. I was going to say not bad because I saw 103,000, and then I realized that's actually for my Breeze and a 17. So uh, 67,800 defense is what we get on the second turn. Uh, still pretty bad. Still pretty bad. But it's better. It's better. So let's give these to Goku and Frieza. Um, doesn't look like we can get a super actually with Frieza. But did I say Goku and Frieza? I meant <laughs> Goku and Piccolo. Goku and Piccolo. It doesn't look like we're gonna get a super with a 17 in Frieza, but not a huge deal. Uh, this might hurt a bit because we only have 67,000 defense. Okay, 56,000. Yeah. Attack is 1.86 mil. 1.86. Now, if we get one more additional here, we should be able to use the active skill the next turn. There we go. Okay, so we got six attacks in, and as you can see, a huge increase in the tanking ability. We actually, before before we super, did we take double digits, or was it like more than that? I wasn't actually paying too much attention, but as you guys know, they get a massive boost to uh, defense after they super, so um, it would have made a pretty big difference either way. But yeah, so far, not that impressed by the damage. I gotta say, I gotta say, um, I was expecting maybe a little bit more, maybe that wasn't realistic, but of course it's only a 55% Goku and Piccolo, so if you guys have seen showcases for like 100% Goku and Piccolos, they will hit much harder, and especially if they have max links, right? A max link 100% unit is significantly better than a 55% basically level 1 links. I mean, this guy has, like, this one has level 2 links, but the difference is not that much from a level 1 link unit, so uh, a lot of factors to consider. I don't want to judge it too harshly, but what I will say right now is that, you know, we have a lot of units in this game that on turn 1 can put up much more impressive damage and defensive numbers, right? Offensive and defensive numbers. So, I just gotta be honest. They're not really blowing me away. They're not really blowing me away. Okay, so now we have the active skill. I am gonna save it. We have uh, 50, or sorry, no, uh, 82,924 defense. So, you know, improvement here. Improvement for sure. Uh, is it a ton of improvement? Not really, but we're getting, we're getting better. Uh, definitely getting better. Okay, so now we have an 18k super. We've had six attacks, so they should be getting their full passive here. Uh, and they're getting 2.9 mil. Okay, so this is with the full passive, yes? Full passive, 2.9 mil. Um, couple of additionals, or at least, at least one additional super. Or sorry, uh, normal attack. One additional super attack. So we can say, you know, the overall attack generated, right? Attacks that would have been over 3 million if you add the super plus the additional. Um, still not great. Still not great. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so... Frieza and 17 tanking pretty decently, actually. Now this is regular Legendary Goku events, not the... GT Legendary Goku event, so it is going to be a little bit easier. 
But overall, this can still be quite a challenging event. Uh, I'm gonna actually let the Kellen Khalifa still stack up a bit, let them build up their defense, so we don't have to worry about them later on. Um, yeah, you know, I guess the real test will be once we get to Super Saiyan Blue Goku, the UI Goku, the MUI Goku, uh, how well are we taking there, how much damage are we taking there. That will be interesting to see, because those guys can still one-shot lesser defensive units, right? Okay, so now we have Tech God Coup. Tech God Coup. Should I pop the active skill? I'm gonna say let's go for it. Let's pop the active skill. Let's get uh, our clothes off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Going full stripper mode. And then uh, we should be able to get close to an 18 key super. Or at least, no, uh, definitely 18 key super. Close to a 24 key super. And, oh no, we got a 24 key super. We got a 24 key super. 131,000 is the defense. Let's give them that full 24 key. Let's give 24 key actually to Frieza and 17 as well. And let's see what happens here. Okay, so we're gonna get supered before we attack. This is gonna do some damage. 53k, all right. Double digits for normals, 5.1 mil. 5.1 mil. So this is much better. But this is still... I mean, this is the turn where we have the active skill. So... Next turn is gonna go back to, to normal, which I'm guessing... A 24 key super with their fully maxed passive at 55% is gonna be like 3.2 mil maybe? 3.2, 3.3? Somewhere in that range. We'll find out soon. We'll find out soon. Goku and Frieza putting some in some work. Man, I keep getting the, the combos wrong. It's Frieza and 17. We have Goku and Frieza. We also have Goku and Piccolo. It's and also we have Goku and Frieza. Like it's 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 confusing, guys. It's it's quite it's quite confusing. Um I'ma actually oh man, I wanna actually save some for Goku and Frieza, but I don't know if I... Let's give these to Kaelin Khalifla. That's still gonna be an 18 key super for Goku and Frieza. And then give these to the Go Bros. I think after this turn, we're gonna do go Frieza plus 17 and Frieza as more rotation, and then obviously still keep the 17 and Frieza and uh, Goku and Piccolo rotation for the other side. But yeah, guys, um, let me know in the comments down below so far, like, how you feel about the Goku and Piccolo. Uh, as I've said, I was expecting more. I was expecting more. Uh, if I'm just going to be straight up with you guys. Like, I thought they would hit harder. Um, I thought they would tank better. And, you know, like, their, their defense is just really bad without the super now after the super is really good so i guess it's not fair to say they're not a good tank they're not a good slot one unit but that was already a given right so not a good slot one unit slot two probably quite good probably quite good we'll test that in a bit um but yeah it, it, their damage is definitely lacking and once again i want to put it out there right it's a 55 percent Basically, level 1 link unit, so they have a lot of room to further impress us. But I've seen a lot of other level 1 link 55% units just be more impressive, um, you know, earlier on. So, there's, there's that. Uh, I think I need to... Oh, this is a... It's a tricky rotation, man, because on the one hand, I want to test out the defense of the Goku and Frieza. On the other hand, or sorry, the Goku and Piccolo. On the other hand, it's kind of dangerous here, man. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is actually pop the active skill for the Frieza and 17. So they get a lot of defense. And I'll put them in the last slot. This is my Frieza and 17. Put them in the last slot so that they can actually tank those attacks. Uh, from Goku, and then hopefully just pray that there's no super 
in the first lot for the other Frieza and 17. And then, um, let's see what Goku and Piccolo can do. Okay, so just give one orb to them. Give these to Goku and Piccolo, and I'll give these to Frieza and 17. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> That was, uh, that was something. Like I said, yo, the, the, these UI Goku still scare me. These UI Goku still scare me. All right, 3.17 mil. 3.17 mil. That's about uh, as high as we're going to see. I mean, obviously, we are missing one key, so probably 3.2 is about as high as we can see on this team. Uh, double digits. Okay, taking a super here for 209,000. Could have been worse, I guess. Could have been worse. Could have been a lot better, but could have been worse. Okay. So, I don't think we can reliably expect them to tank a super from some harder events like uh, GT Legendary Goku event, for example. Like if the, you know, like Int Super Saiyan 4 Goku supered us or the Golden Great Ape supered us. That could still be trouble, right? I think I think that would still be trouble. I'm not sure. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I'm uh, I, I wouldn't uh, feel super confident about it. I'll say that. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna try to save the token attack. So let's give the non same type orbs. I'm actually going to also pop a S snake just to be safe. And then we'll give these to Vegito. Save the Dokkan attack. Perfect. Are we gonna kill UI Goku on this rotation? Could. We get like two more supers here. Yeah, Goku and Piccolo, man. Goku and Piccolo, uh. Not bad, not amazing. I think that's fair, right? I say that a lot actually about like a lot of banners and stuff, but I think for them, not bad, not amazing is a very fair description. Um, could be more impressive, right? Could be more impressive. Looks like I'm missing something here. I mean, from what I'm seeing, like they're they're a good unit, but they're not a amazing unit. They're not really up to par as far as power creep goes, right? They're really not on the same level as a lot of the units we're about to see in the near future. And that's kind of my main issue with them, I guess. Uh, ooh, okay, so... If I put Frieza and 17 there, would they take a lot of punishment. Okay. Let's do Oh crap, you know what? I was saving the token attack for free for for Goku and Piccolo, but you know, I, I don't think I can put them in the first slot with those those that many attacks. So, I think this might be our only option. So, it's fine. We'll give the token attack to Frieza and 17 here. Oh, they're getting super. Let's see. I'm gonna say it's not too bad actually. It's not too bad. All right, let's get the token attack off. One, two. Oh, super slow. Three, four, five, six. Very nice. I mean, outside of Goku and Piccolo, though, everyone else has been great. <laughs> and not to say they they have been great. You know, not to say Goku and Piccolo have been like super bad it's just this team overall is really fun it's it's really really strong i should be running this category more um because it's a great category right it's a really really powerful category i think my only issue with it is the lack of really good oh my god of course he dodges of course he dodges is the lack of really really good supports um i typically like to have 
you know, powerful supports um, for my teams, or at least one or two. And this category just doesn't really have uh, great supports. I'm not saying, you know, there aren't like supports, period. And we do have the Broly and Paragus, but they're not that good of a unit. So, uh, yeah, that's probably why I haven't run the category that much, but I will from here on out because it's a fun category, man. It's a really good category. And as far as Goku and Piccolo, final thoughts, man, I'm just going to say good unit, but nothing you really need. You know, if you guys didn't summon for them yet and uh, you feel like you're missing out, I don't really think you're missing out that much. Uh, I, I, I would say just skip the banner. You know, wait for the upcoming releases, and uh, maybe if you really want them at some point, buy them in the coin shop, or just hope that you pull them randomly on another LR banner. Because obviously they'll be unfeatured on every single LR banner from here on out, but is it worth it to specifically summon for them right now and like waste their stones before we get the, the, the Heroes collab, or we get the... Uh, what else is coming? Uh, Tech Gogeta or the Super Vegeta? Nah, not not even close. Not even close. It's not it's not a unit that anybody really needs to have in their collection. So there you go, guys. Uh, let's finish this event here. Uh, let's see. I'll give these two freeze on seventeen. Those are for Piccolo and Goku, and then we'll give these two the Vegito. I'd actually like the super in the second slot just to see how well they can tank a super. Nope. Okay, so super in the first slot again. And this is not going to hurt too bad. Maybe like 100k or so. Yep, there you go. And uh, we should be able to finish off Goku in this rotation. If not, then definitely the next rotation with my, uh, my Frieza 17. Oh, additional super, okay. But definitely, give me your thoughts about Goku and Piccolo. Because uh, maybe there's something that I personally... I guess the one thing I've been missing is falling below 59% HP. That's the one aspect of this unit that we haven't seen yet, right? Going below 59% HP and getting that chance for an additional super attack. Um, yeah, that wasn't a scenario that really happened in this in this showcase. I guess maybe we should have gone for the GT Legendary Goku event instead. That was maybe my mistake. But even then, you know, with like how hard they're hitting per super, which, from what we've seen, you know, it's kind of capsing, capping, capsing, capping out at like 3.2 mil. Um, even with an additional super, I'm not going to be that blown away by them. Even if they get like two supers at 3.2 or 3.5 or something in that range, I'll be like, okay, that's that's pretty good. But like, look at <laughs> some of the units we've been seeing recently, and I guess it's not fair to compare them to a Dokkan Fest LR like the Super Saiyan Goku or the full power Frieza, but like the power difference, man, between those guys and this unit is quite, quite drastic. It's, it's, uh, it, it's, it's quite, quite significant. So that, that's it guys. That is the, uh, joint forces slash Goku and Piccolo showcase. Um, I feel like I was maybe a little bit hard on this unit. I do think they can be very good, especially if I had fallen below 59% HP and gotten double supers every turn. I think they would have impressed me a lot more. But we didn't see that situation. Um, depending on how you play, I guess, if you're more defensive, then it maybe it's not a uh, scenario that you'll actually get too often. But it depends on the event once again, right? So on the GT Legendary Goku event, probably see a little bit more. On Extreme Super Battle Road, probably see a little bit more, so it all really depends. But um, I still, I still believe it's not really a unit that you need in your collection. So don't uh, don't waste too many stones on their banner if you've already spent some 
If you if you've done more than like two or three multis, I would just say stop summoning. That's just my opinion. But there you go, man. That is going to be today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, if you liked the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the, to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.